Hey everybody, it's Super Saiyan 4 Journalist, here with my review of the Nintendo 64. Now, for this review, I'm going to start with the controller. It's actually a pretty unique controller. But fun fact, this design, like the three little places where you can put your hands, this is the first remote to ever do that. And actually, I think it's the only. Now, it's actually got a pretty good grip, and um, instead of just doing the slight bump for the, like, where you hold it, it's actually a pretty deep groove, and it actually feels really nice. Now, there's just a other little thing I figured out. See the part in the middle with the analog stick here? Does, it, does that look familiar to you at all? Because... If you cut it right here and pull the thing out, the thing is a wee nunchuck. And in the back, there's a port for the memory card and uh, rumble packs, you know, crap like that. Um, this is the uh, C Stick D pad, which um, uh, in the uh, GameCube controller, it's actually a second analog stick. Here are the A and B buttons. D-pad, start button, the L and R buttons, which I don't really like these buttons, they're too flat. I like uh, good, decent shoulder buttons, like the uh, GameCube shoulder buttons, how they're nice and clunky. I like them. And there's a little, the Z buttons back here. Now, for the console itself. Just let me... Like that. Behold, the Nintendo 64. Well, this one's my Nintendo 64. I named her Lilu. Here's where I put the game cartridges. It's. it's oh, hold on. Ah, uh, there. Better light. Here's a reset button, power switch. Now, there's a little. Wait, I can show you the light. Hold on. Now, in the back, you have this big gaping hole. That is where this goes. This is the power source. Just... Hold on, I need two hands for this. Just take it and just push it in there. Now, as I was about to say, there's a little light here, and when it's on, it glows red. Now, this little door right here is for the uh, memory expansion. Mine happened to come with the red one with holes in it. Now, I'm not really sure if it can come out because I've never been able to take it out. I've actually been afraid to take it out. Here are the uh, controller ports, thing that uh, plugs into it. Now, there's actually a pretty interesting little bit back here. This is the expansion thing. Or the extension thing. Now, most people don't know what this is for. I'm like, okay, there's a thing in the back. The hell does it do? In Japan, they release the N64DD, the disk drive. And you just plug it into here. It's about a good, maybe two, three inches tall. It would just sit, the N64 would just sit on top of it. And you could play N64 discs. But you see, in Japan, it was a catastrophic failure, so it was never sold in America. Just gonna do a quick little walk around of the system. Easing it purdy. Now, this little thing right here, don't know if you could see it, but there's a little place where you plug something in. That is where you plug in the thing with the audio and video cables, but that was attached to my TV and it was kind of tangled up, so I only brought this for demonstration. And there you have it. And...